In this video today, we're going to talk about vertebroplasty, kyphoplasty, and spine jack. So what the heck are all these devices and why does it even matter? Well, why it matters is if you have a compression fracture of the back that can be intervened and made to be better, stop your pain without you having to need traditional surgery. If we haven't met, I'm Dr. Orlando Landrum, an interventional pain and regenerative medicine specialist who helps patients understand their options for pain relief, how to be able to punch pain in the face, and how to be able to get back to leading the life that you deserve. In this video, we're going to explain what is a vertebral compression fracture, and more importantly, in some ways, is what are your options to be able to treat it? So if we were to take a look at a model of the spine like this, we can be able to see that there are elements like the vertebral body, which are different than the context of the disc, which are different than nerve roots. This bone can have a compression, a squeeze, a narrowing that can occur from a number of different reasons, some of which include osteoporosis that have resulted in that bone having a fracture because of weakness. Sometimes it can occur from trauma. Sometimes it can occur because there are metastases from cancer that can come to the bone and cause issues and problems. But at the end of the day, that compression of that vertebral body can result in pain that is traditionally axial in nature. Okay, so what does that mean in terms of the fancy words? Well, axial in nature means that it stays in the back and it doesn't move to the arms, it doesn't move to the legs. And normally, when the doctor or healthcare provider examines the patient, when they press on the spinous processes on exam, it can cause pain that's associated with it. So what can we do to be able to treat it? Well, number one option is you could just wait and say, let's let the bone heal on its own. If that's the case, it can sometimes get better over a number of weeks. But for many people, they have pain, which is pretty significant in nature. And it really is pretty tough to be able to let that pain just sort of run its course and things will get better. Another option is to be able to use a brace and that bracing can be able to help stabilize some things, make you feel a little bit better while the healing process takes place. But the options that we're talking about are three in fact. The first is something that's called a vertebroplasty. The second is something that's called kyphoplasty. And the third is final is something that's called a spine jack procedure. So what do these entail? So vertebroplasty is a treatment when you have that compression and then what's taking place is that there's a needle that's placed within a certain context of the bone of the lamina into the, something that's called the pedicle. And it then traverses across so that it doesn't get into the nerve root and nor does it get into the aspect of the canal, but it stays within the context of the bone and once that needle, following the trajectory of how my pen is moving, it basically causes this bone that's been collapsed to be able to get cement that hardens in it, that prevents further collapse. That's what a vertebroplasty is. A kyphoplasty does a similar thing where you have that compression of the bone and you have that needle that's inserted that's not going into the nerve root, but stays within the context of the bone, stays safe and free from being in that spinal cord, and then within that context, as it exists there, it basically has a little balloon at the tip. And that balloon expands the compression. And after it expands that, it has a cavity that's in place that's then filled with a metal grade polymer similar to cement that then allows for a heart and function to be able to provide pain relief. And finally, there's a procedure that's called a spine jack procedure. And as you would expect from the name, it is a jack, similar to how you'd have a jack for a car when you're changing a tire, that's placed in a similar fashion. And instead of us being reliant on a balloon, it has a mechanical extension that actually takes the end plate, which is the top and bottom of the areas of that vertebral bone, and is able to expand it. All these options can be able to provide pain relief, and all these options are percutaneous, meaning they can be done through a needle without a major incision that allows patients to be able to return home the same day. New technology can provide benefit for patients that historically hasn't been able to be delivered previously.
Question of the day. Have you had a compression fracture before or you know someone who has? If so, how did they treat it? Please leave comments below about how they were able to provide value and get back to doing the things that they wanted to be able to do. If you like this video, please help us be able to expose more individuals to content such as this by hitting the like button. And if you would like to know more options for being able to deal with pain, being able to understand regenerative medicine, and how to be able to punch pain in the face and get back to leading the life that you deserve, then hit the subscribe button so you can be able to know of more videos and be able to understand how to be able to get back to doing the things that you want to be able to do. Thank you.